hello everyone welcome back to my channel so there has been some uh, information that has just come out uh, former president ECO just recently posted this on his official facebook page to say fellow citizens yesterday i received a disturbing information indicating that zambia police service has opened 25 dockets against me based on formal complaints from upnd members in lusaka to to that effect the police are under instructions to arrest me in the dark of the night any day by surprise so he has even went you even went further to say my question is why is president haka hinde hichdema and the zambia police inspector general planning and mobilization to ambush me at night abduct embarrass and forcefully detain me like a hardcore criminal where is the respect of the office of the former president in Zambia if a sitting president can endorse a malicious ambush and barbaric of our, of of a former head of state in this fashion i hear so he, he actually went on but um as you can see on the other side i, I shared the rest of, of the of the statement so this is the actual situation we saw a group of uh, uh upnd guarders who lined up at uh, kabwata police station and you know other places of course and um uh, Op uh, made a report that the former president ECO should be arrested because of the statements that he had issued and among those statements issued was uh, the call for early elections and from the look of things this is why they intend on arresting him but there's also another issue of president Haka Inde Hichilema where he has made it clear that he is determined to recover the monies that were stolen and uh, this is what the president had to say so you can let me know your opinions at the end of the video because there are like two stories here there's from uh, what uh, 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 the former president ECO said concerning uh, the opening of 25 dockets against him and uh, this is also another story of president Haka Inde Hichilema uh, talking about recovering of stolen money uh, possibly obviously we, we know he's talking about during the pf regime so listen to this until the end and let me know what you think and also don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on my updates so yesterday i said now that the debt restructuring is done by and large and we will be putting to bed kcm i'm confident no matter how complicated it is now i have time to check accountant jail to check how much money was obtained and allocated to Lusaka Dollar Highway by way of a loan. How much was it? One point two billion dollars. How much was paid? Who was paid? Auditor Ten hours. Who was paid? I'm sure you have that information on your fingertips. Loans is under somebody, isn't it? But eventually the accountant general gets to know. Eventually, you get to know. I share a bit of your background. Sins of the past, my sins of the past. You get to know. So soon we'll be saying this dollar Lusaka Highway, so much was procured by loan, so much was paid to who? Where did it go? Because Vice President, not even a meter of Ndola Lusaka Road was done, but money was paid. So who was paid? Where did they take the 30 million? 30 or 35 million? Hmm? 30 million. This is part of your job with these BSs hanging around at public office. Who was paid 30 million? They didn't do a meter. Now my hands are free, Vice President. That's my message. I want to read the storybook on who was paid the 30 million, when was it paid, through which bank, what work was done. We want that money back for the people's army. So we can buy more deaths. So we can buy maize, madam, for the drugs. 
That's what we should do. You shouldn't wait for the president to come up with these figures. That's your job, routine job. So now that you're waiting for me, I'm ready. FTJ University. How much Mr. Gango was paid? 33, 32, 33 million. But guys, me, I'm the head of state. I'm aware of these figures. How come you and the guys working with these figures daily? Me, I'm aware. One shot, I look at the figures, they stay here. <laughs> 33 million dollars. Yeah, ma. If you go to FTJ University yeah, in Mansa, the slabs that are there are worth, if you are lucky, 200,000 dollars. So where is the $32.8 million? Who was paid that money? Who authorized the payment? Who received? Where did they take the money? I'm ready now to work on this. And I want us to work as a team, Vice President, all of you, to bring that money back and let it work for the people of Zambia. Imagine just two projects, $32.8 million, $30 million, $62.8 million. If we put that money in the agricultural credit scheme, we will get. That's the story. That's the mood in which this fellow called the president is now. Since the last 10 days. That's my mood. Let's walk along. Be part of the team to look after citizens' money.